Hi guys. So I was getting ready to make a community post. Um, and I was trying to upload this calendar because I've added to it and I think it's finished and I couldn't get it to fit the screen correctly on the community post. And I kind of had a realization. So, um, I'm making a, a video for you now. I wanted to show you the finished calendar I added. I know it's hard to see guys, but it, it just doesn't fit unless I make it this small. Down here, um, this is the last chronological day here. Okay, so guys, today is May 4th, right here. Today, today is May 4th, but I also put May going backwards, and then down here, I put May again going forward. So this second to last line right here, all of this, is the last count on the calendar, and it ends on June 11th and June 12th. June 11th and June 12th, and that is Shavuot. So that is Pentecost, but it's on the Jewish calendar. So what this calendar has done, it has taken so many dates that we've been watching, but really we have been counting here since uh, March 19th, really, this season, you guys, March 19th, which is right here, 19th and 18th. And we've been watching the Easter season. So we've been watching the Gregorian Easter to Pentecost. Okay. And even before, obviously, this was um, Purim. This was Holy Week, the beginning of Holy Week, March 25th. Okay. So we've been watching since the equinox and through the Easter season to Pentecost. Now we have Pentecost coming up. On the 19th, I believe, guys, of March. Okay, so I have it written here, very tiny, Pentecost, 19th of March. But because I've also reversed May, I'm sorry, the 19th of May, because I've reversed May, Pentecost is also falling on the 6th. Okay, because this is a mirror from the green, this is mirroring itself. Okay. So we've been watching the Gregorian calendar, but uh, included in this calendar here is also the Jewish calendar, counting the new the new year, um, Nisan one, through Passover and then into Shavuot, which is the um, Feast of Weeks. Okay, so wow, this is our X marks the spot. Okay, grid. Guys, this is a grid. This is a chart. A grid, a chart, a map is a face. Um, it's in the language. It's a face. This is revealing the face of God to us here. It's God's calendar, God's clock. It includes this zodiac. It, it includes holy days, holidays, and all of that stuff. It's an X because on our... A face is a map and a face is a clock. And we have X marks the spot twice. You know, our big X, we have a picture of the big X. It's doubled. XX. This is because Easter season is the X and then Passover season is the shadow. The second X. And these holy seasons are overlapping each other. This is the XX season. Uh, X marks the spot season. What these corners are doing, this is our four corners. So we are squaring the circle, which is our uh, Vitruvian man, which is the evolution of man from a fallen state into a butterfly, Vitruvian man. Squaring the circle is the pyramid. Um, the pyramids at Giza are representation of the man evolving, man resurrecting. Okay. 
that's included in this calendar. Because here in this top corner, you guys, I have Christmas written, Xmas, and I have Pentecost written right here in this top left corner. Okay. But down here, guys, June 11th and 12th is Shavuot, which of course is Pentecost. Okay. So those two match. We can draw a big diagonal line through the center and they match. Here, guys, I have written Memorial Day. You can't see it, of course. M Memorial Day in this corner because April 30th showed up as Memorial Day on my green calendar, it, as did May 1st. They showed up as Memorial Day. But actually, guys, the actual holiday of Memorial Day is in the bottom left corner over here, Memorial Day. So down here, I have St. Nick written, which is Christmas, and Memorial Day. So these four corners are folding in on themselves. This is our X marks the spot. This is the season that we on this channel are looking at. This is also the EZ. So on my green calendar, guys, I should get it for you. So this is... Uh, the picture I have, I'm sorry, uploaded in my computer to show you the green calendar, guys. Um, so I'm looking at this right here, okay? This is listed as the Day of Remembrance. And the last date here, chronologically on this calendar, is January 6th, which is the day of Epiphany. Um, it's Three Kings Day. Epiphany in Greek means to appear, the appearance of. Um, Zecher, the day of remembrance is Zecher. See it right here, guys, Zecher. Okay. But also on the same spoke, we have the end, which was actually the chronological beginning of this calendar, 9-8. And this is the day that Queen Elizabeth died. So here, you guys, we have Elizabeth and Zecher, which means remember. Zechariah, God remembers. Elizabeth is Eli Sheba. Eli Sheba. My God is seven. The God of the Sabbath, the God of the seven, the God of weeks. Sheba is Shavuot. It's the same language, guys. Sheba, Shavuot. Sheba, Sabbath, Shavuot. They're all related to the idea of seven Sabbath and week. Week. The Feast of Weeks. We are in Shavuot. So we are in the season of Memorial Day, guys. Day of Remembrance is the same word as memorial. Zechar, Zechariah, Zecharias means the Day of Remembrance. This is our E, Elisheba, which is the Feast of Weeks and Memorial Day. Zecharias, E, Z, Aleph, Tav, the beginning and the end, the beginning and the end. This is the season that my other graph calendar is representing, Elisheba and Zechariah. We are at the beginning and the end. These two eras, epochs, are overlapping right now. Okay, so... We, we are at that time. This is the X marks the spot. And it's a double X. It's a double season. It's a double portion. It's a double signature. We needed both the living God and the God of the dead. We needed both the evil brother and the good twin. We, we needed both signatures. Remember, the XX, you guys, is a signature on a contract. And what these signatures are doing are annulling your covenant with death and they're confirming your covenant with life. Okay. This is the season we are in. Um, so in all of this, I have been thinking to myself, what the hell am I doing? I have seen God's faithfulness time and time and time again, syncing up with solar flares. Who else on planet Earth 
has ever done that before in all of history. And, and knowing and counting when the solar flares were going to happen. We've seen the fiery dart now, a, a prophecy that was, you know, 10, 11 years old. Um, we've seen the striking of the clock tower. It's, we, if you've been with me a long time, guys, we've seen many, many, many prophecies fulfilled, um, it, amazing miracles. Even my last video was a miracle because I'm sitting there making a video and, and talking about this is the bittersweet season, the bitter end and the sweet new beginning. When I did not know this at the time, but I made that video on, I don't know when it was guys. I don't know. Was it May 2nd and posted it? And that was Nissan 25 on the Jewish calendar. Do you know that on Nissan 24 in history, Moses threw the wood into the bitter waters to make it sweet? I mean, even sinking that way, and I swear to on the Holy Bible and to God Almighty that I did not know that he did that the day before I made the video about bittersweet. What I am trying to say is you are the time clock of God. This is walking at your pace. This is you are syncing perfectly with God's timing. And so I find myself asking, why am I serving time still? I am still serving Father time. I was frustrated that I could not fit this calendar for you guys on the community tab. And I thought, why the hell am I wasting my time? How much time have I given to this channel? How much have I sacrificed my life, my freedom, my time? Guys, please don't get me wrong. You know that this is my, it has been my joy. It has been wonderful. You guys have helped me so much. I couldn't have done this without you. Every little hint that you gave me mattered so much, tremendously. I could have never created this, prophesied, had fulfillments with what, without you guys, without your support, without your little smiley faces, without your information that you have passed on to me. But I, am refusing from now on to serve a spirit that says, do this and do it now. I am going to make the time from now on. And at this point, I am feeling that literally all of my prophecies had been, have been fulfilled, all of them, in one way or another. And through the thesaurus, which means treasure, through the treasure, through the storehouse of word that we have used on this channel, I have been able to see every single one of my prophecies fulfilled in some way, except for one. And that one is the nuclear missile coming up out of the ocean. Now, it I pray to Almighty God and the gods above and Mother Goddess that we will never, ever see the fulfillment of that on this beautiful planet of ours. God forbid. And God has forbidden it. And we've seen him and her and them forbid it. They will intervene if anything, if the button was about to be pressed. We've seen it. We've seen it. We, we know it already. But in alternate terms, on a different plane, the nuclear missile coming up out of the ocean is me and you. Missile means the word of God. Nuclear means full of fuel, full of energy, full of life, full of kernels, 
full of nuggets of gold coming up out of the abyss which we have been imprisoned in. Baptism by water is the lake. Baptism by fire is the fire. The lake of fire. It is up to us to part the sea and come up out of the Red Sea like missiles out of the lake of fire, out of the abyss, out of the ocean, out of the Dead Sea. When that happens, because it will. And how do I know? Because by wisdom, we have opened the gates of heaven. The gate is open for me, and therefore I am going to pass through, and I am going to operate on my own time clock. It is going to happen. And I know this because I have seen everything else happen. And so why do I sit here again and again and again? What I am doing now is I am handing you guys the keys. You don't even need them. Many of you have found them yourself. And what I am saying to you guys, it's time to take those keys and turn the lock and open the gate yourself. It is here. The time is now. And so there's literally nothing more because we have complete wisdom. It's not faith anymore. It's not trust anymore. It's proof. It is evident what we have been trusting in and hoping for and having faith in. It's evident now. It's all happened. It has all happened. That's it. That's it. So today I choose to unlock the gate and step through the door. So how I feel this is leading you to the gate, guys, handing you the key. You, you know how to do it and open the gate yourself. It's leading the sheep to the trough, the horse to the water and saying, all you got to do is bend over and drink. That's it. This is the time that promises are fulfilled. It's here. It's upon us. It is now. It's the day of remembrance. It's Memorial Day. It's the Feast of Weeks. It's Sheba come with a caravan of riches, wealth, wisdom for you. It's Christmas season. It's, it, it's all here. So I feel like this is my last run and I feel like this is my retirement. Um, I've witnessed it. I've recorded it. I've remembered it. I've testified to it. I've died as a martyr because of it. And, and I choose not to sacrifice any longer. I, I think it's a beautiful, wonderful thing. So when I come back to tell you how God's promises are fulfilled, it will be when I am ready. And I choose to no longer serve the spirit of time, but to make my own time. 
Declare a thing, and it shall be established. And so that is what I'm doing. Okay. When I come back, I hope to have an even greater testimony. Of the truth of God. It's you. And it's me. Choose blessings. I'll see you next time.